Hey everyone, Val here, and uh, I am going to Lowe's. Uh, Steve and I are actually going to Lowe's, but we're taking separate cars because I have to make an, a couple other stops after um, after we go to Lowe's. And he's going to come back to the house and work on his truck, but we want to go look at the plants they have because I want to uh, get some tomato and pepper plants for the garden. Um, I'm going to plant some tomatoes and peppers in pots, and then uh, we've already got some cucumbers planted in the garden we're just going to do the small raised bed garden this year again and see if we can get some cucumbers and maybe um, plant a couple squash seeds out there um, the, the spaghetti squash and see if we can get some of that to grow but uh, we're going to work on that today so we're going to bring you along so um, I'm going to take off to Lowe's and uh, see what they got for plants all right like develop Look at these, how tall these tomato plants are already. They already got, uh, they already have buds on them. That one's a container tomato. How much are the littler ones? Does it have a price on them? Is it, do you see a price? No, I don't see a price. Well, how do you know how much stuff is? Fifteen ninety-eight. For what is that? Are those tomatoes? No. <laughs> I know. Probably fifteen dollars. All right. Where's the smaller? Okay, I've picked a variety of tomatoes. I got five different types of tomatoes. I have Celebrity Hybrids, Better Boys, um, Beefcake, Goliath. I have a yellow bell pepper and a green bell pepper. So that's, I think I have seven, four, five, six, seven. I have seven. So we're going to see what else there is. There's a whole lot of stuff to choose from out here. You can see just rows and rows of different vegetables out here. So these are running three seventy-eight a pot. So that's not too bad. Let's go around the other side where Steve is. Alright, let's uh, hot pepper, I don't know. Do you want hot peppers? Let's go around this way. I don't know if my cart will fit down that row. I'm gonna leave my cart right here. Bring my purse with me. What's down here? Cucumbers we don't need. We can plant those from seed. They go pretty quick. Quickly, we got zucchinis down here. We can plant those from seed if we choose to try them. Romaine lettuce, hot peppers. I don't think I want to do that. Japanese cucumbers. That might be cool to try. I want to try a Japanese cucumber? How much yeah. are those? We can. Serve. Organic curly kale. They got to be around three or four dollars. Alright, we're going to try a Japanese cucumber. The one that has two plants in it. Yeah. There you go. That'll work. It's got a couple plants in it. Okay, we'll try that one. What do we got down here? Husky cherry red tomatoes. No. I think this is all organic over here. Yeah, I don't think we got Japanese though. Yellow watermelons. Yeah. I'm trying the regular ones there. Watermelon. I was thinking about just buying some and taking them to the church and putting them in the church garden. Do so we have space for them? Well, I put seeds in, but I don't know if they're going to grow. All right. Let's go over the garden and check. We'll keep looking. Okay, we finished at Lowe's. I've uh, got uh, five tomato plants and three pepper plants. And then Steve got some mulch. They had mulch, um, five bags for $10. So I think he got 10 bags of mulch. I'm um, not sure because he pulled the truck around and, and got it. And I already went to the car to put my um, plants in there. 
I got some miracle Grow and Steve got some um, garden soil, a couple bags of soil. Uh, I am at Lytle's. They built this new Lytle store here. Uh, have not been in here yet, so we thought we would go in and see what they have and what the prices are like. And I will do a uh, haul when I get home and show you what we got and uh, tell you what we think of the prices. So I will catch you in a bit. Let me go inside and check this store out. Oops. Bye. We just got out of Lytle and we are going to head home. I will do a Lytle haul for you. It's kind of like an Aldi's if you ask me. It's uh, There's not a whole lot of selection. Uh, I like specific items made by specific um, companies and that you don't just don't have that choice here it's like one brand or whatever but there are some different items so I'm gonna do a, 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 a light a haul for you on another video and show you what we got we did get some different stuff for taste testing because it's stuff that we normally don't see in our local grocery stores so um, or at least I haven't seen it it may be there and we just haven't noticed it because there are there's a, a bigger selection so um, anyway I will do a haul video for you um, coming up in the next couple of days and uh, I'm going to get home and get these groceries put away. We didn't get that much though. Alright, Steve's out here on the grill and we took the pork loin we got from, I got a half a pork loin from uh, from Lytle's this morning and he's been, he put some what, applewood spice on it? He put applewood spice on it and it's been on the grill for about three hours now, and it looks good. I tell you what, it smells good, too. And I'm going to put some Kansas City Classic Barbecue Sauce, bold and smoky on it. We got this from Lytle's this morning, and we this is put out by Lytle, I guess. We have not tried this, so we're going to give it a try. What's it smell like? Molasses? Yeah. I can't really smell it. Looks like it's wanting to fall apart. The roast? Yeah. Oh, that'd be good. I made some um, fruit salad to go with it. A fruit, cut up some fruit, some strawberries, and um, blueberries, and some grapes. Got some um, bushes, baked beans on the stove. Alright, I'm just going to leave that, that open good. like that and put the lid back down. And I'm going to show you what Steve's been doing all day. He's been uh, trying to clean the uh, moss out of the patio. This is the side he's finished. It looks really, really good. And this is the side he's still working on. Still has a little moss in there. But it's looking good. He's he's mulched the flower beds. Or the, yeah, I guess they're flower beds. The beds bushes. I put all new mulch in these. They're looking good, except for the water can that's laying on the ground. We put the cover on our pergola so that we have shade now when we're sitting on our swing out here. So, flower bed for the... The bed's looking good. Didn't do this side yet. But he's got the bag of mulch, so he'll get to this side. But everything's looking good. I've been inside. Uh, walked a couple of miles with my sisters. So I got my three miles in for today. Um, had to make a, a quick trip to uh, to work. Somebody needed something. I had to go get it for them. And uh, been trying to do some cleaning in the house. Getting some paperwork straight. Wanted to bring you out around here and show you my azalea bushes. They're in bloom and looking really, really pretty. So let me show them to you. Uh, the, got a white bush right in front of the house. And then this one, it looks like it's got some, some weeds coming in it or something. I don't know what this all is. This part of it didn't, didn't bloom. But this bush has gotten like really, really huge. beautiful. Got some red ones over here in front of the uh, this part of the house. 
they're looking really really pretty and then there's a big pink one here that's fully in bloom looking beautiful so these these are starting to bloom too and I'm not sure what they're called because I don't know all the names on flowers and stuff but there's some of them that are blooming or starting to bloom now I've got a bunch of them here so I can't wait to see those when they be when they are fully bloom I'll try to remember to video it and let you see it but I just want to share the bushes with you when he gets his uh, pork roast done and we get ready to eat we'll do a little quick taste test for you these bushes have really grown up here too beside the house I need to get those trimmed back a little bit I like them they're pretty but they're just overgrown overgrown a bit I was showing everybody our beautiful azaleas out front got some mulch down here Alrighty, I think I'm going to go in and finish what I'm working on. How are you doing out here? Wait another five minutes and I'll be pulling it off. Oh, and for Sandy over at Let's Get Fit, I put up my hummingbird feeder today. So if I see any hummingbirds, I'll let you know. So hopefully we'll both get some hummingbirds this year. But I put that up there today too. Alright, catch you in a bit. Hey everybody. The pork is done with the got the nice little glaze down where the barbecue sauce is on there and left it open. So I'm getting ready to plate it. Got some fruit salad here with some blueberries, strawberries, and grapes. And we have our bushes baked beans ready to go. Alright. Got my trusty knife here. Looks like it's falling apart there. Yeah. Definitely not cutting. A piece here. A little barbecue on there. Give it a taste. You won't like it. Too sweet? You won't like it. <laughs> Now, take a taste. You gave me a taste of all fat. I did? Yeah, it was all no meat. I'm going to try that one. Yeah. Hmm. That's a pretty good sauce. Better taste than the sweet baby rays. Hmm? You like it better than the baby rays? Mm, I like them both. It's got a nice mild taste. Not too sweet. It's right. it's a nice taste. Well, the meat's done. All right. It's falling apart.